so um, what does your study schedule look like, your day to day? So when I first started in, I guess, October, when we had our first online session, I would look at my entire week, the amount of work that I had done, or had to do, I would write it down on my planner and basically do school from, you know, 8 till 4, 9 till 5, and then once 5 o'clock hit, regardless of how much I got done, I would stop and go do something else. So I was very stringent for the first semester, and sort of as the semesters went on and as the weather got nicer and nicer, I found myself sort of being a little bit more lax when it came to my schedule. But I, I would still use my planner, I just wouldn't be as strict at like nine to five. And I found the course load sort of change as the semesters went on. So as I became more used to being back in a school environment, because I had been out of school for you know five, six years at this point when I started the PA program. When I started to learn how to study again, I became you know, more efficient at it, and I didn't have to spend as many hours doing it. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yeah, but my first semester, I would always do Monday to Friday, nine to five, and try not to do any weekends. And I think that's how I didn't get burnt out. Um, do you have any idea of what specialty you want to work in based on the exposure that you've had so far in first year? Uh, I really don't. Like, I've been trying to keep an open mind because my LCEs really haven't given me a ton of exposure to different specialties. I've really only been limited to like three or four of them. Um, I don't have a ton of experience to make that decision as of right now, so I'm I'm really waiting for second year to roll around to get that clinical experience and hopefully find something that I absolutely love. Um, with that said, I've always been really interested in gynecology. Uh, you know, even when I was applying to medicine, I was like, you know, if I'm going to be a physician, it's probably going to be uh, an OB. Um, so that's something that I'm really look for, look really looking forward to my women's health rotation. Um, but I'm just trying to keep an open mind because. I don't want to close off doors in, you know, in, until I open them. Yeah. So as an out-of-province student, uh, you are required to do your rotations within Ontario. Um, when I first applied, I did ask the program if I could do any in Alberta, um, but because they don't have a, a PA program in Alberta right now, they don't really have the connections in order to set that up for us. And so they offered me an opportunity to go and do some of my rotations in Manitoba, but they wouldn't offer any um, financial support if I were to do that. And so for me, it's if I'm going to be traveling to another province, I'm also just come to Ontario, have some additional financial support from our program, and sort of just you know learn what I can learn from here. So for my second year, I requested to be placed in uh, Thunder Bay for five straight months, and then Toronto for five straight months just for ease of travel and not having to move around because I don't know anyone in Ontario other than my classmates and I don't have the luxury of being able to stay with any family members or extended family uh, or friends so I really needed some stability in where I was living and you know I'm, I'm driving out from Alberta come beginning of second year and so how long is that drive? I think it's about 25 hours or so. Wow. <laughs> so I wanted to be able to just to drive to a place where I can stay and do majority of my rotations for my north half and then drive south into the majority of my rotations for that and then sort of figure out where I'm going after that, whether it's driving back to Alberta or staying here. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. yeah. And um, are there plans for your even your classmates to support each other through second year? Yeah. Well, like I said, a lot of us are placed together. Okay. Um, so that's... I think that'll be really good. In terms of other support, like I said before, even in my first year, I would Skype or FaceTime a lot of my classmates anyway, or text them, and I'm going to continue that during my second year as well. And yeah. Okay. Why are you glad that you pursued the PA profession? So I am really glad I pursued the PA profession for uh, the people I met in the program specifically. And even though it took me you know, five or six years to get here from my undergrad, I'm weirdly grateful that it took me that long because if I had gotten in at any other year, I wouldn't have met the people that I've met. And so, <laughs> yeah. so that's probably one of the biggest reasons I'm really glad that I pursued the PA program. Um, in addition to that, I also feel like I've finally found something that, you know, I'm able to pursue medicine, but yet still have the good work-life balance that I want. And uh, yeah, so that's... It's good. So you really like the small community? Yeah, I do like the small community. It is, sometimes it can be frustrating, you know, that people don't know who you are. But at the same time, it's sort of like, yeah, I'm a PA, and this is what a PA does, and I'm proud to be in this position. And 
so that's kind of how I see it. <laughs> okay. How do you envision your PA practice? Uh, it's uh, to be honest, I don't really know at this point. It's something that I probably get asked weekly from family members or friends, like, where are you going to end up working? Where are you going to be living? And I have to say, I don't know right now. Um, I know for a second year that I'm going to be in Ontario because I have to be for my clinical rotations. But beyond that, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to stay in Ontario for the, the uh, grant, the career start program, or if I'm going to go back to Alberta and try to get a position there. And Are you open to working in both provinces? So um, I think it's the career start program in Ontario that's made me more open to potentially working here because I'm not having to compete against you know PAs that have already been working and have experience. It's only for first year you know graduating students, and so that's something that I thought about. Um,